Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This reading is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Uh, guys, if you're looking for my personal information to book a reading, it's in the description box below the video. As And if you're looking for the extended, it will be in the description box as well as the uh, comment section. Uh, also, if you're looking for all 12 signs, they're at the back of the video. So let's get into Capricorn. What do we got for Capricorn? Okay, Capricorn, you may feel betrayed by somebody having a new passionate beginning and you need the courage to move on um, because I feel like it's almost like there's somebody, you know that this person um, likes to play mind games and manipulate you, but they're watching you. It's almost like they're, they want to see you suffer. This person is like wanting to win by watching you suffer from some kind of betrayal. Wow. Some people. Okay. I feel like, you know, um, ooh, ooh, ooh. okay. So I feel like with this, this is your judgment. This isn't about reconciling. Um, they may try to play mind games with you, but the harsh truth is, is this person is obsessed or toxic and you're very trapped in your head trying to find some kind of peace and balance. But your judgment is, I almost feel like to move on. Um, you know, it's not often that you see, okay, normally it's, this is the fish in the cup, but you don't see this person being on water. So this is almost represent, uh, like representing like the, the, um, six of swords energy, but this is just one person in the boat. And, and I feel like this person's trying to emotionally communicate to you. They may tell you they want to reconcile, but your judgment is, you know, to, to emotionally communicate the harsh truth. The harsh truth is this person is obsessed and you're very trapped in your head about the all of this wanting peace and balance. I feel like with this this page of wands, you may be fighting with a queen of swords. Uh, could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. You may be arguing um, that you'd rather be single. You'd rather be single. You're trying to heal and walk away from a situation, uh, but you're at a crossroads about, you know, moving on with that chariot under the bottom of the deck. Now, this could be, you could be a masculine or a feminine energy here. So you feel backstabbed and betrayed because of someone's deception in a new passionate beginning. So you have blocked somebody and it's almost like you're trying to block this person or you're standing your ground. You need the strength to move on. So it's almost like you're trying to be patient, um, trying to balance out your strength so that you can move forward um, from a queen of wands. Um, I feel like this is a, queen of wands that's doing this you could be dealing with a taurus uh, i'm sorry an aries leo or a sag um you feel like you feel like they're playing mind games and trying to manipulate you um with you know this could be with playing this could be manipulation this could be secrets something hidden this could be an illusion Take it how it resonates with you, but whatever's hidden that this person is trying to win, playing mind games and manipulation, this may be an illusion, guys. They may be doing because this the Queen of Wands is the sorcerer of the deck. You see the black cat, you see the wand. Okay, so this person is the person who would do that, right? I feel like with this, they're watching, they're watching. And it's almost like, I almost feel like with this person,
They're playing mind games, but they've got their eye on you. They may want to rebuild and offer that cup and reconcile with you, but I feel like this is all about control, right? Because your judgment is that the harsh truth is they're toxic or they could be, you know, attacking. This is just awful energy with that. Um, the harsh truth is this person is uh, uh, toxic. They, they like to attack. They like to come at you with things, right? They want to reconcile. They're tell, they may tell you that they want to reconcile with you and have a new passionate beginning. Um, emotional communication, but you are at a crossroads because of, they're, always, they're always very harsh. They're always very harsh. So you're very much in your emotions about this. Um, I feel like Capricorn, this devil energy um, could be your energy, but I also feel like this is the truth about the the truth about the devil, the truth about the toxicity, you know, the harsh truth about this person, you know, that they're a narcissist, that this person's just trying to play games with you or whatever they're trying to do. You're very trapped in your head about whether or not you should start something with them. Again, you're trying to be patient. You're trying to find peace, but you're very trapped in your head. There is arguments with this person. They are being very strategic about what they're doing. So it's almost how they fight with you. They're very strategic in how they fight with you. Um, but you're telling them you would rather be single uh, and move on, right? It's causing a tower moment because you do see something from a different perspective. And I, I feel like they're going to have some regret here. It's not going to be you. They're going to be manifesting regret in the end. So you're healing and you're walking away, but you're at a crossroads because I feel like you're trapped in your head about a relationship. Um, Empress energy. So you're, you're realizing that this, that you could be the Empress here. You could be an Empress or you are realizing that you are with a karmic. You are with a karmic here. This was not your person. You're recognizing that you left a karmic, that this karmic that you've ended, you're, you've left a karmic. You're healing and you're moving on. You're at a crossroads. And the reason is, is that you're filling the pool with this 1111. You're very trapped in your head about an empress. Something long-term and committed. You're looking back at your past. So you may have known the fact that you have a person out there that you're meant to be with. Um, and it's almost like you're awakening. You, you, it's almost like but you're awakening and you're kind of in your head about it. This is you being in your thoughts. This is no, no emotion here, right? This is not just, um, this person is strategic. If you're coming in as a queen of swords, you're all in your head right now. You're very much in your head space. So you may be leaving a karmic and realizing, oh, I'm being called towards another, a higher, a higher place. You're being called to a higher place. Interesting. Okay, so what does what does Capricorn need to know here? Garden. You know, party event, meeting, reunion. So you may run into an empress. You may at at a party um or a gathering. You may run across this person from your past and realize, "Oh, that's the one. That's my person because here you got ring, you got commitment, you got agreement." You see, this is somebody, this is somebody that you you're going to run into and you're going to go your souls are going to recognize one another. So you it's almost like you and these are falling out of the deck. Okay, you're coming in as the man here. You got the answers. There's a message being sent. Okay, it has to do with love. It may cause you a tower moment because this tower moment is, holy crap, that's my person, right? This is your, you're waking up to, to feeling the draw towards a person you're meant to be with. It's just you about figuring out about a karmic and leaving this karmic. Um, and this is how it should be. You know, you've gone through a cycle with somebody that you find out is toxic and they're playing mind games and trying to manipulate you and this and that. They don't want you moving on, Right. But I feel like in this case, you're moving towards, uh, you're, this is about you breaking up with somebody who may have been cheating on you. They may have been cheating on you. So you broke up with this person, but to find out that they're toxic, very toxic, and you realize this about this person. And so once you leave them, you realize that you're being drawn, 
you're, it's like you're, you're being drawn, you're trapped in your head about somebody. You're being drawn back towards somebody that you have had a connection with that's deeper than this. But there's a little fear here and you, the fear of rejection. You're being, because of karma. Oh, oh my gosh. It's not over though. Wow. Wow. There's a third person that, that uh, has caused a lot of drama here. But I want you to realize, look at this. You're being drawn back towards your twin, right? But the fear of being rejected, right? Because of karma, because of karma. But it's not over. It's not over because this is your connection. This is, this is who you're meant to be with. Now, you are leaving a karmic situation behind. And, um, you know, it's not saying anything about how you got into that, but, right? Inner peace. You feel an inner peace around this person you meet, but you're at the gateway. You're at the beginning, right? And there's a lot of change here. A lot of change is coming, right? But you're delighted about this change. You're happy. This is a happy change, a welcome change for you. Um, this is a good reading for you, Capricorn, because you're, whether you're masculine or feminine, you are leaving a karmic situation behind and you are going to run into your person when you're meant to run into this person. And this is going to, the sparks are going to fly. You can trust that this is going to happen, right? I feel like you need strength here. Why do you need strength? That's like the grieving process. I feel like you've got to let go of a lot of things. I feel like the person that you left behind did hurt you, right? You felt like that was a family situation, but it was not, right? Now you need willpower for closure. Yeah, you're getting the answers that you need. You're going to find everything, right? You're going to find out the truth about everything. So, guys, I'm going to get you all 12 signs, and then we'll go to the... Um, gum road for the extended and i'm going to see if that x is going to try to come back and cause problems but the fact of the matter is um you are going to connect to your person once you get out of this karmic situation and that is good because this is how it should happen you should you should be leaving a karmic situation completely behind going back to your person without this being a back and forth but that's not always the case, but it seems like it's the case here. I feel like you're walking away from this manipulating person because they have stepped out on you. So they cheated on you and, and now you're walking away from them and walking towards the person you're meant to be with. So break free and move, move forward. So let's get into this and find out what is going on. Give me all 12 signs for Capricorn, please. All 12 signs for Capricorn. Okay, give me give me the energy for Capricorn. Ah. Okay. Okay. So this is kind of going around the fence here, but this is somebody is waiting to work on healing from a betrayal with the Empress. That's what this is saying, right? This is waiting, waiting to work on healing from a betrayal with an Empress. So you need to overcome some obstacles so that you can go towards an Empress. Um, this is you having to heal from, waiting to heal from the betrayal so that you can go towards your empress. You're dealing with an Aries. Somebody is needing the strength to cut somebody out. If you're dealing with a Taurus, um, they may be holding on or holding back. If you're dealing with a Gemini, somebody's walking away from a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. If you're dealing with a Cancer, someone's looking back at past mistakes, being very trapped in their head. If you're dealing with a Leo, someone wants justice in a reconciliation. So they want to be able to just uh, have justice uh, and reconcile. If you're dealing with a Virgo, um, the emperor has a choice, a choice to make. 
if you're dealing with a Libra. Um, Libra wants equal give and take in a situation. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, somebody's playing mind games. Um, I feel like I almost feel like that be patient. The truth is going to come out about somebody's mind games and manipulation. Be patient. It's coming. You may be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, um, somebody is getting some kind, there's doing some soul searching and they know it's time to take that leap of faith. If you're dealing with another Capricorn, somebody is going to rebuild in divine timing. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, um, this is a Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups situation that could be your twin. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, there is a new beginning. There's a harsh truth about a new beginning. Somebody's finding out a harsh truth about somebody else's new beginning. So you may be dealing with a Pisces as far as the person, the third party goes. So guys, I'm going to take this over to Gumroad and get you some more clarity about what the X is going to try to do and if this will um, come together with you and your person. So um, if this resonates, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you over on Gumroad for the Extended.